Welcome to DSEI here in London, uh, one of the largest defence uh, exhibitions that within the world actually. Matt, a key topic within DSEI has been around connected battle space. What does Collins bring to that challenge? So Collins looks at the most difficult problems that our customers are facing. We, we look at those legacy platforms, legacy networks, how we can then connect those digitally to not just fifth gen, but sixth gen platforms, digitally enabled networks in order to facilitate multi-domain integration. So that's a really, really challenging topic to me, thinking about how you bring all those different types of platforms, all the different legacy um, pieces of equipment you have across that. What's core to bringing that together that you really bring to the market? Uh, so one of the things that we're looking at is intelligent gateways. Historically, we've used in gateways at the edge of the network where we've got an interoperability problem. What we've been looking at is can we bring that intelligent gateway to the core of the network to solve those interoperability issues right at the core of the network. And what benefit, what advantage is that giving to the warfighter? So it helps us cross domains physical domains such as land, sea, airspace and cyber, but also security domains. How do we get above secret information to the warfighter at the tactical layer edge at the classification that they can use the information? Another key piece within DSEI to me has been across all of the technology we're talking about is just that ability to be able to sense, sense accurately, be able to act upon that, make, derive the information from it to allow you to act and then be able to move quickly. So talk to me about that sense, make sense and then act and how does your technology support the warfighter in that? I think if you look at the current problem, we haven't changed the way we communicate Fundamentally, since the Second World War, we still heavily rely on voice. We need to move to digital command and control networks, command and control applications, because it really speeds the process up of sense, making sense and acting. And we have to do that faster than the anniversary. So, Alex, I know you're here on the intelligence sensing side of the house. Tell us a bit more about what you're delivering at the tactical edge. So at DSCI there's been a whole breadth of requirements all the way from high energy laser systems to lots of, lots of requests for anti-jam capabilities but mostly it's all around how do we get information quicker into the warfighter's hand really and again one of the topics that has been asked around a lot here is um, around some of the optics that we produce so um, the LCAM business based in Canada makes a whole range of different rifle sights but within there is a digital firing scope and the beauty of that is you're bringing very, very high-end clarity optics, but com uh, combining real-time data within it to actually be allow um, a better understanding of what the environment is like around you. So the range of which you're trying to um, interact, the conditions, the crosswinds, the environmental conditions in there. And there's been a lot of interest there in around how we can provide more digitally enabled optical systems. So digital firing control scope has been a key piece. So Alex, one of the things that we've seen is that the transition of allied partners back to large-scale combat operations. That puts us against a near-peer threat and in a highly contested environment. You're right. Um Contested environment is an absolute critical, critical uh, challenge that we face. And again, a big topic within DSEI has actually been the technologies that the organization brings to support and assist within that. You know, look in this background how important those connections are, but when you really understand what's happening on the modern battlefield and the level of uh, spoofing and tricking that are happening within there, the key thing for me is how we connect across all those domains. Um, that, to me, is the real advantage that having this organisation brings to us. Matt, great to see you as always. Look forward to speaking to you again. Thanks. Thank you.